this video, we're going to talk about how to set up the 435 to measure dips and swells. From our setup screen, we're going to start off by going to manual setup with F4 and then F3 for function preference. From there, you can see your settings for trend duration, average time, start delay, etc. We want to come down to show dips and swells, so we'll arrow down. Right now it says nominal for that. That would mean our reference voltage is the 120 volts we selected in our main setup. But let's say your voltage isn't really 120 volts. It's 115 or 110. If we want to have the nominal, the actual voltage be the, the uh, reference, we get the arrow key to select sliding. It will take that measured voltage as the reference and use that for all event capture. Once we've done that, we hit the back key, come to our menu. We want to select dips and swells with the arrow key. We come down there, F5 for OK. Power adapter, if you want to run a long-term test. It prepares the SD card, and the trend starts from the right side of the screen. I'm going to generate some faults with my demo board. You can see some pulses appearing here on B and C. So I'll do a few of those. And then stop the test with the hold run button, F5. Note we already have four events that have been saved. Once you've hit that button, you've got the option to save the data, which I'll do. It gives us a measurement name. I'll accept the default in this case, simply say OK. And we're back to our live screen. To analyze, we hit the F4 button to look at the events. Now we can see a listing of everything that was captured. This is the detailed screen right now. F3 gives us a normal display, and you'll see you've got a number of dips, the voltage level achieved, and the duration. If you want to see the trend for a particular event, you simply highlight it, hit the RMS event, and you can see where that dip occurred. You can use your cursor control to highlight something and see the actual measured voltage at that point. For even more detail, hit the wave event button and you see the actual waveforms. You can see the actual dips that occurred on the B and C phase. That's how we do set up for dips and swells.